Hey there, this is Rick. I hope everyone's having a great day. And this is a quick video to introduce you to my home apothecary. Okay, over the last few weeks, I've been slowly putting together um, all the bits and pieces that uh, I think I'm gonna need in order to learn herbalism in a kind of fairly serious way. Now, um, one of the things that I wanna be doing in 2012 is uh, learning all about the, the healing uh, and medicinal properties of herbs and plants, uh, and especially wild plants as well. that You can actually go out there and uh, forage for. Now I've got a number of uh, books that started, started me on, on this sort of path. Uh, one of them is called Hedro Medicine and uh, I'm really really impressed with this book. This is a really really good introduction to all of the plants that you see every day out there in the hedgerows um, that you wouldn't think twice about. You start reading up about them and uh, you start to realize that these things are quite powerful plants and you know they're really really useful plants and um, it was reading this book that kind of got me on to this 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 whole thing anyway come and have a look and I'll, uh, I'll show you what we've got so far right then so um, one of the first things I went and did was went and got a load of these jars I wanted something to put my herbs in and spices and things in but um, the actual herb and spice jars are really stupidly expensive. So I managed to find a place online that sells a big slab of these. I think they were called Freeman and Harding. And they sold a big slab of jars. These are, these are small honey jars. And I think they came in batches of 28 and it worked out about 10 pounds for 28 of these, which is absolutely ideal. Now, over the last few weeks, I've been slowly building up my stock. This is just to basically get me started. Slippery elm powder, blue lavender, chickweed, Siberian ginseng, St. John's wort, chickweed, ginkgo, bibo, biloba, biloba, mm -hmm. comfrey root, uh, echinacea root, uh, red clover, of course oregano, which is um, a, a really powerful herb actually. You, most people have this in their kitchen. Uh, I've got the hawthorn berries that I uh, harvested last year. We've got some ginger and some garlic fresh, uh, some nettles, and uh, we've got some pure organic uh, virgin coconut oil, which I've actually just used to make um, some salves. These are, these are still warm and dry and, and sort of cooling down. And hopefully when they cool down, they're gonna uh, set into like a balm. And I made that balm from calendula petals, which is uh, like marigold petals and uh, they've got some really good healing properties in them if you have um, cuts and wounds and uh, I shall go into those uh, in another video. And uh, I've got a set of scales as well. Now this is, this is an old set of post office scales that, that, that are years and years and years old. Um, now they're, they're, they kind of look the part but to be honest I'm probably going to be better off using this little thing which is um, uh, a proper, uh, if I can get it open. This is um, a proper set of scales, and these, these go right down to 0.01 grams. Now, one thing uh, no good herbalist should be without is a good selection of books, and I have been shocked at just how often I am pulling those books out and making uh, references to them. And uh, I'm doing lots and lots of cross-referencing as well. This is the one I refer to most. It's a, uh, a Darlene Kindersley book, and it's just fabulous. And um, another one I use all the time is uh, this one, the Eyewitness Companions Herbal Remedies. Now, one of the other things you're gonna need uh, as a herbalist is lots and lots of glassware. And uh, what I've done is I've just ordered a selection, I've found a few places online, ordered a selection of jars and bottles, just like a cross section really, just to see what I end up using more of and then hopefully uh, I can sort of, you know, order only the things that I actually use. Got lots of spare herbs up there, uh, which is good. There's a few spare jars as well. And uh, also the other good thing about this is I've got this magnetic, um, or a pair of magnetic racks, and uh, they're just really good for um, storing things away. So, um, like I say, 
I'm just starting out with this. I'm just getting everything sort of prepared. And uh, as soon as the, uh, the, the snow goes away, I'm going to be looking at uh, doing the garden as well. And I'm hoping to grow lots and lots of herbs this year. I've got loads and loads of seeds already arrived. But at the moment, the garden is just absolutely covered in snow. And it's freezing cold out there. And I'm not going out there um, until spring arrives. But um, hopefully throughout the course of 2011, amongst all my other videos, I shall be putting up uh, a series of uh, videos related to this stuff. I'll probably have a little jingle for it and uh, maybe a little keyword at the beginning, you know, sort of herbalism or whatever. So um, if it's not your cup of tea, then you can avoid it. That This whole project, is it's, it's a combination of uh, my preparedness kind of hobby and also um, that getting closer to nature uh, thing that I'm trying to do as well. So it's sort of two, two combined into one. I mean, I was thinking to myself the other day that all of my businesses, all of my income are all at the moment derived around the internet. And if I suddenly lost the internet, I would probably lose most of my income. So in a way, this could be my backup plan, but obviously I've got to learn it in a, in a fairly major way. But um, anyway, that's, that's just my apothecary, my home apothecary, or some people will call it a, a home kitchen lab. And um, so, you know, I just wanted to show it off to you guys. And um, if you've got any, like I said, if you've got any herbal, uh, you know any good websites or good books that have um, herbal recipes where they can say, right, you know, use this, use this, use this, um, and uh, make a, you know, a, a tincture of it or, or whatever, then I'm really, uh, I'd be really interested to hear back from you. So that's it. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you have a great rest of the day and uh, I'll see you in the next video.